This is Haddenham Cottage, a reconstructed cottage made of earth at Chiltern Open Air Museum. The building was originally from the Croft in Haddenham, Buckinghamshire. The owners were told they had to raise the ceilings to meet building regulations, but this was almost impossible. Eventually, they were allowed to knock it down to build a new house. The museum wanted the cottage because it was made of such a unique local material that was an important piece of local history. It was dismantled at weekend during February 1977 by volunteers and the owner's family. The house was dismantled in sections with each timber labelled. The earth walls were chiselled away in blocks. Reconstructing old buildings is costly. The museum had to raise the funds to reconstruct the cottage, so it wasn't until June 2007 that the foundations were dug and construction could begin. The cottage is made from a special white earth called Witchert that is only found around Haddenham in Buckinghamshire. Witcher owes its composition to limestone, which is then mixed with straw and water by hand, resulting in a concrete-like material. The house is built on a plinth of limestone blocks known as grumplings. It is there to prevent rising damp and to allow rain to soak away freely. An 18-inch work clump of Witchert, known as berries, is then added to the top of the grumplings. Every layer has to be left to dry before the next row is added. There is no external shuttering or support used in making Witchert walls, so every one is shaved vertically to the right thickness before it gets too dry. A historical saying is that a good Witchert wall needs stout boots and a hat. The boots are the grumplings and the hat is the roof. The roof is covered by clay tiles held on by wooden pegs. The cottage's reconstruction was carried out by volunteers led by the museum's building manager along with the help of some specialist consultants. It was a community project funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund. The museum's young volunteers helped to lay the grumplings. The reconstruction was completed in 2015 and it cost a total of £59,000 to reconstruct. This is the interpretation room which has been left unfinished to show the structure and the different stages of the construction of the building. It's a family home and many different families have lived here since it was built. The ground floor consists of a living room, parlour and kitchen. There are three bedrooms upstairs and each one has been interpreted to show a different time period in the cottage. Finding furniture of the right size for the building was tricky because the rooms are quite small. The beautiful case clock in the living room, which almost touches the ceiling, has a very commanding chime which echoes out across the village green. It's a Victorian house that was built around 1840. The rooms show what life was like then and also for the families who lived here in 1910 and 1977. This is the kitchen, complete with a working range. During the reconstruction of the building, seven community groups from all nationalities joined the project to help, learn new skills and share their own. The cottage was a bit of a learning curve because a whole Witchet house hadn't been built since about 1939. This is a 1970s bedroom, which was inspired by the Q girls whose room it was. The main bedroom is dressed for 1910 when the Rose family lived in the house. Patchwork quilts were popular because people could use all of their scraps of fabric they used everything from shirts to furnishings. 13 sewing groups helped to make the patchwork quilts in two of the bedrooms. This is our early Victorian bedroom, reflecting the very earliest years of the house's life.
Lace making would have been a typical craft carried out by the lady and children of the house. The toilet was in an outside shed-like building. The vegetable and herb garden was added in 2020. The other half of the garden is planted with flowers and shrubs that would have been typically grown in a garden like this. During the project, 70 volunteers learned historic building techniques and our 2014 visitors helped build this Witchet wall. To find out more about the buildings and the work carried out at Chiltern Open Air Museum, visit www.coam.org.uk.